In this tutorial video, I'm going to quickly go over the iMovie timeline in iMovie 11. Now, a lot of people like to work with their timeline in a lot of different ways. For example, I like to work with my timeline down here at the bottom of the screen. But a lot of people like to work with their timeline up here in this part of the screen and their event library down here in this part of the screen. Now what a lot of people don't know is that you can actually change how you do that depending on how you like to work with your iMovie timeline. If you click this button here, it will actually change it so that your timeline is now up here and your event library is now down here. Like I said, a lot of people like to work in their projects with their timeline up here and they like their footage to be down here. But a lot of people don't realize that just by clicking this button here, you can actually switch how that looks. And for me, I like to work with my timeline down here because that's a lot more similar to iMovie 6 and those older versions, which a lot of people actually like better. Now another thing that some iMovie users don't like about these newer iMovie versions is that when you start to add a lot of footage, instead of it just continually extending down the timeline, it just kind of starts to stack your footage down here in your timeline. So I'm going to start adding some footage just to show you what I mean by that. So once I get to the end down here, what you're going to notice is that it's going to start to stack my footage in my timeline. As you can see there, it's now created a second level on my iMovie timeline. So even if I tried to add footage down here, it's not going to let me because it's only going to continue in this second level here because it has to continually stack the footage on the timeline. Luckily now in iMovie 11, you can actually have a timeline that's similar to the older versions of iMovie that a lot of people like. If you come up here to this button right here that has the three squares on it and click on it, what you'll notice is that your timeline has now been switched to the traditional timeline from those older versions of iMovie. So now, instead of the footage stacking on top of each other as soon as it fills up this part of the screen, it now just continues to extend the footage along the timeline, and with this scroll bar down here, you can actually just continually drag to the right, and you can continue to add more and more footage to the end of it. Now if you're used to the timeline in these newer versions of iMovie, then all you need to do is click on it again and you can switch right back. And another important thing to know is that if you're used to now working with your timeline up here on the left side of the screen, you can still do that with this same traditional timeline from the older versions of iMovie. By swapping it, you still have that option up here with the three little squares and by clicking on it you've now changed it to the traditional iMovie timeline just up here on the left side of the screen. So whatever timeline you prefer, whether it be the traditional timeline or the timeline from the newer versions of iMovie, you have that option inside iMovie 11. And so that's a quick tutorial on the iMovie timeline in iMovie 11.